everyone and welcome back to our Dirish by ERP channel. So in this new episode, we'll discuss about the request for quotation process. Shortly, name it as a RFQ process. So in this episode, first we'll discuss about what is the request for quotation process. And then next we will discuss how we can create an RFQ in Dirichify FNO. And we'll also discuss about how vendor can participate in the vendor bidding process. So let's get started. So first, what is an RFQ process or request for quotation process? So request for quotation process where the company or organization asks to a set of potential supplier or vendor to submit their price quotations. So through this RFQ process, vendor can participate in the vendor bidding process. They submitted their uh, best prices from their end and then we will decide for which vendor we are going to procure this uh, particular set of items or any services. So to create an RFQ in Dirichify, if you know, we have two uh, scenarios to create an RFQ. We can directly create an RFQ in Dynamics uh, through all quote, uh, all request for quotation process or we can uh, also create an RFQ through purchase requisition. So let me show you on the notepad how the RFQ process. Okay, so in Dynamics we can directly create an RFQ process based on that vendor participated and submitted their uh, best prices and then based on this best prices will create a purchase order for that particular vendor the next scenario here we have created a PR first based on that PR will create an RFQ and once that RFQ is submitted to the vendor and vendor submit their prices uh, to that organization then we'll create a PO accordingly. So this is a two scenario. So first we'll discuss the simple scenario where we directly created RFQ and then go for the P purchase order process. So for that we'll navigate to the procurement and sourcing module and collapse all under under request for quotation process we have all request for quotation views so we'll open this particular view here you can simply click on this new option here the purchase type will set to the purchase order because here we are directly creating a purchase order through that uh, through this RFQ so let's skip this part directly we move to the second process where we include the where we cover the RFQ to PO process as well so we'll first create a purchase requisition through that purchase requisition we create an RFQ and through that RFQ we'll uh, last create a purchase order for that vendor so this you can uh, consider for your assessment you can directly create an RFQ from here this is a very simple process so let's go to the complex one so for that we again navigate to the procurement and sourcing module then collapse all now we'll create a purchase requisition so we'll click on this all purchase requisition view we have already covered uh, what is purchase requisition and how you can create a purchase requisition in dynamics that is this detailed video which we have already created so i'll add this in the i tab also so you can just simply click and view that so here first i'll create a purchase requisition so i'll name it as purchase requisition as a electronics good so in this demonstration we'll procure the electronics good so click on this click on ok so in the next step we'll add the lines so let me quickly add the lines and select the item number first we we'll selected keyboard and the next we'll procure the mouse okay so we have entered two lines in the PR so here you can see that the unit prices are blank because currently uh, let's say I am a clerk in the organization I am not aware about the unit prices of the particular item and even the vendor is also blank because I am not sure which vendor are providing the best prices so for that as a 
data entry person i just create a simply purchase requisition as submit that purchase requisition to my a uh, supervisor so this is the first step where the purchase requisition is created for the blank unit price and blank vendor account i have do that setup i have removed the uh, purchase agreement from these two item just to showcase this uh, rfq process so here pr process is completed we have completed our first step so in the next step uh, we submit this purchase requisition uh, for review to our supervisor you can see that the request for quotation is grayed out for now because currently the workflow is not submitted so the prerequisite for this uh, are use this rfq process our workflow must submitted or in review stage so let me submit this purchase requisition okay next submit this workflow So here you can see that our status is changed to draft to in review and the request for quotation button is also enabled now because we have submitted the uh, workflow. So in the next step, we'll create an RFQ from this purchase requisition. So now my job is changed from clerk to the supervisor. So now as a supervisor, I'll create a request for quotation to my set of vendors. So here I'm select the legal entity. Currently I'm working in the USMF legal entity and select both two items for which I'm going to request for quotation to my uh, specific vendors. So I just click on OK. So here you can see that our request for quotation is created and the quotation ID is 000061. So just copy this ID. So now our request purchase requisition step is completed. Now I'll again go back to the procurement and sourcing tab go to the request for quotation and one more. You can also uh, see the purchase requisition uh, number from our uh, RFQ number from here. So for that, just simply click on that I button. So in the related document, you can see that request for quotation number is uh, created so you can also navigate you can just simply double click on this you can directly navigate to the RFQ from this purchase requisition so for now I just go to the all request for quotation because I want to show some other steps also so for that I'll directly go to all purchase requisition all request for quotations so here's yes, uh, in the type you can see that currently we have created a purchase RFQ from the purchase requisition. So that's why the purchase type is purchase requisition, not purchase order. If you created a directly RFQ and then created a purchase order, then the status of purchase type is purchase order. So, so now we have created first purchase requisition. So that's why type is changed. So you can filter out your purchase requisition RFQ from uh, this purchase type. So I just simply open this RFQ. So both two items are created under this RFQ and here you can also see that the unit prices are blank and in the header section you can check the vendor. So yeah, so vendor is also blank. So first we add the vendor and then we send this request for quotation to those vendor to submit their prices. So let me add one vendor. So first I'll select this vendor. You can also uh, use the vendor search option. This vendor search option as also we have discussed in our previous episode when we discuss about the vendor evaluation criteria. So you can also check out that video for this vendor search option. So for this video, I just simply add the first two vendors. Okay, I'm here I'm adding two vendors because we need to also uh, see the vendor bidding process. So for that, we need at least two vendors. So we just save this one. And in the next step, once the vendor is added, we send this RFQ to these two vendors. 
to submit their prizes so for that we click on the send option and click on ok so now our RFQ status line status you can see that initially it's draft now it's changed to the ascent so next step is vendor receive that email in their email box about sending this uh, prizes for these two items so for if you are pro using the vendor collaboration portal the all setup is properly done and you have provided the access to your vendor about the vendor uh, portal then vendor can directly get the notification on that vendor portal that the RFQ is created for you and you just need to submit your uh, prizes so now I'm assuming that all the process are manually no vendor collaboration portal is set up so now vendor reply on our email with their prizes so once we receive the prizes for both two vendors or any single vendor we can just simply add that prizes on the RFQ level so if you want to if you want to know more about the uh, how to set up a vendor collaboration portal and how this bidding process will work on the vendor portal level you can just simply comment in this video about this and I'll create a detailed separate video for the vendor collaboration module and include all the functionality of that so let's move to the next process I just click on that manage replies option here both two vendors are listed so first we'll include the prices for first vendor for that we select the vendor click on edit and click on this edit RFQ reply so if this edit RFQ reply is grid out for you there is one setup that you need to enable to edit the replies uh, manually so for that you navigate to the procurement and sourcing module under procurement and sourcing parameter the request for quotation you need to enable this option purchaser can edit a vendor bid if this option is disabled then system doesn't allow you to edit your RFQ replies so for now we just simply click on this edit edit RFQ reply for the first vendor here we did the unit price so I set the keyboard price as a hundred USD the mouse price is the 50 USD for this vendor you can also uh, vendor can also edit the expiration date or time so it currently it's manually so you can uh, edit for the vendor in email if vendor said that the requested receipt date it's a less than or it's more than one day so you can also change that you can also change the terms of payment so let's say vendor is okay with the 50 percent in advance to get this deal so they can also submit it that in the terms of payment so you can edit from your side so once this step is completed make sure you submit the rfq process if you forgot to submit rfq you again need to open that particular rfq again need to submit it that prizes so this is very tedious then this is the very tedious process so make sure you submit this rfq so for now we have to all so you, we have successfully submitted your bid for first vendor now then I'll do the same process for second vendor so we just quickly do that it RFQ replies so this time we set the unit price to the 110 and 60 for this vendor and submit the same okay so we have completed the step we have some vendors send or uh, send their prizes through email and as a data entry person I have entered the prizes manually in the system so now in the next step is again go back to the RFQ process just refresh this page now you can see that the compare replies option it is enabled so we just simply click on this compare replies option and here you can see that both the vendor bidding so if you have submitted this request for quotation to the 10 vendor and they have submitted all 10 vendors submitted their prices then all uh, 10 prices of that vendor is you can uh, view over here so for now we have just two vendors 
so we just simply compare the prices in the header level line and header both details are there so for the first vendor you can see that the total amount in the header is 170 but for the second vendor the amount is 150 so I have just simply select this vendor and the lines if you select this uh, header then lines will get automatically selected in this scenario we have one more option let's say vendor 1 is providing keyboard in very cheap price and and also the second vendor providing the mouse in very uh, like in in the very best price for our organization then you can see simply instead of header you can simply remove the header and select the second line of the first vendor and the first line of the second vendor this option is also available but in the purchase order level two purchase order is created for two different vendor because in the purchase order level they can only handle one vendor so for uh, for this demonstration we just simply select the one vendor I just I don't want to make any confusion for you guys so I just select the second vendor which providing me the all both items in $150 you can keep this as an assessment you can create it you can select the two lines in the RFQ and check if two purchase order is created and how it's get created so for now just select this vendor and accept this uh, RFQ click on OK and so once we approve the pros, uh, lines or header for one vendor then system automatically pop up the second window of rejecting the request for quotation uh, for the first vendor so we simply click on OK so now our rejection process is also complete so once the rejection process is completed system automatically remove the lines which we have rejected from the RFQ so we again go back to the request for quotation simply refresh this page now you can see that unit prices are still bank because we have created this request for quotation through purchase requisition so we again go back to our requisition for that we navigate to the procurement sourcing requisition all purchase requisition so this is electronics good which we have created initially when we created this purchase requisition the prices are blank and the vendor is also blank so we just refresh this one and you can see that the the prices which we have accepted uh, for the vendor account 1002 both 150 uh, which is 150 total is now automatically get updated on the purchase requisition level so that's it for this video in this video let's let's summarize this video so for that I'll open one notepad so in the first step we create purchase requisition then through purchase requisition uh, we have created RFQ in the purchase requisition both prices and vendors both are blank and in the RFQ level we have attached the vendors uh, in the RFQ and once the RFQ is created we send this RFQ to the vendor then vendor sub replies reply on our RFQ on email and send their prices so we update the replies in the system once the prices are updated for all the vendors in the next step we compare the replies and the next step is we accept we accept the lines and then we reject the remaining ones once this rejection is done our prices updated in the purchase requisition level and now you can uh, simply create a purchase order from that purchase requisition or you simply created a purchase order from the RFQ so that's it for this video hope you like this video if you have any still have any doubts in the RFQ or facing any issue in the RFQ process you just simply comment in this video I'll reply on your comments and make sure you subscribe to our channel for future episodes